Welcome to part four of the locking automatic chicken coop door. Last time we got the motor and spool installed here. So this time we're going to get our rope cut down and get it attached to our motor. And then we're going to start installing some of our control boards. So let's get started. You'll notice that I have the door all the way at the bottom and it's time to cut down our rope here. So I do want to make sure I have a couple of wraps around the spool, even whenever it's totally closed. So I'm gonna come up a little bit, about right here, and just cut this. Let's go a little bit more so we have room to uh, tie it off here. Okay. Then, just like we did before, need to burn these ends off just to make sure this doesn't uh, come unraveled. Now, before we tie this off, I've got this little swivel here that I want to install here, and it's gonna guide our pulley in the right direction. So let's get this thing installed uh, right down here. I don't wanna split the wood, so I'm gonna just put a little pilot hole here right in the middle of the spool. Okay, then we'll be able to get this piece set in here. So hopefully this little piece will keep our cable or rope um, guided in the right direction onto our spool. Okay, that ought to do it there. So now we can simply put our rope up here. So you can see that'll keep that nice and uh, straight. I'm going to thread the rope here through this little eyelet and get it tied off here. Okay, and that hopefully will allow this to uh, have a few uh, spins up before um, it gets tight. This is called an Arduino. It's a control board. You can program it to do all kinds of stuff. I've put it on this nice plastic with a, uh, a mini breadboard here. Like I said in the beginning of this series, this is going to seem a little daunting if you're not used to any programming, but um, I'm going to try my best to make this uh, as painless as possible. So I'm just going to put a couple of screws in here to hold this on. So maybe one up here and then one down here. So I'm going to do a little pilot hole here to make sure we get this in the right spot. Okay. Then again up here. Alright. So I'm just gonna attach this up here. Keep it into place. Obviously, this doesn't have to be very uh, tightly installed. Just needs to hold this up here. We've got one more control board to install, and it's this guy, the L298N. What this does is it operates the motor in two directions. So when you get an output from the Arduino that says turn the motor, you got to tell it which way to go. So that's what this board's going to do. So I'm going to put it down here uh, in the same manner that we did that other one. So I'm just going to put these uh, top two screw places here. And mark these out. Tiny pilot hole in here because the screws we're using are quite small. These are actually the same screws that came with their reed switches. They seem to be the right size, so hopefully they'll hold this board in nicely. I'm kind of looking forward to the next part of this project. I haven't done coding myself in quite a while. As you'll recall, with our wires here, I had marked the lower ones with a piece of tape so I could determine which ones were which. 
that'll help later a lot. So I'm just going to take these and stick them into a hole. So the ones with the tape will go to a different spot. And this will just keep uh, them separate and also allow us to access them later on. So Now to control the motor, I've cut a couple of pieces of wire here. A black one and a red one. And I'm going to stick these into this little spot here, which is the number one and number two out. And I'm just going to tighten that down and do that with both the black and the red. Now I've got one last little piece of this conduit, so to keep these wires safe, hopefully, I'm going to run them through this piece here and then just uh, kind of like we did before, I'm going to use a zip tie to uh, keep this in place. It's definitely been a zip tie intensive project, hasn't it? Oh no, back to soldering again. Luckily there's these little holes that you can poke your wire into and it makes the soldering process a lot less painful. So, got those in there. Let's see what we can do here. Definitely a cheap soldering gun. Okay, there's one wire. I know you've been having a great time watching this part of our locking automatic chicken coop door. It's been fun. I love getting out here in the workshop and building stuff. And uh, so far I'm impressed with this thing. It's looking uh, pretty nice. But I'm sorry to say it's time to leave the workshop and head inside and start doing some coding for this. It's, uh, it's turning out well but it's uh, time to see how well it works when it's got electricity hooked up to it. Thanks for watching this part. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. I'm Seth Johnson with Land House, and I will see you next time.